public displays of affection tackier than visible panty lines. With Derek, my new love bunny, I'm throwing caution to the wind. Besides, doesn't everyone love a lover? Do you want to stop the tongue wrestling, or do I need to turn the hose on you? Somebody woke up with a thorn in his paw. Oh, he's been in a squabby mood for weeks. I hope he snaps out of it. I can't take another case of smooches interrupters. Me either. I'll talk to him. Later. Murray. Is something wrong? Something? How about everything? I'm soaked with the stench of a loser. I think I'm losing my touch with the women. No way. Oy vey. The Rodeo Romeo is ruined. The Bronson bad boy is busted. The Malibu meat man. Moving on. Every girl I come on to rejects me like a baboon heart. Even my smoothest lines fall on deaf ears. Well, maybe that's your problem. Sure, these girls aren't literally hearing impaired. No, I mean your pickup lines. Lose them. Just be yourself. Girls want to know what's in your soul. They want to feel unique and wanted. You really think that would help? Absolutely. Okay. Soul. Unique. Wanted. Got it. Bless you. Good luck. Kendra, I could come over to you and lay down a smooth line like, you know it would look good on you? Me. Or, Dang, girl, you with all them dangerous curves and me with no brakes. <laughs> but you probably wouldn't go for those, would you? Mm-mm. Not now, not ever. See, and I knew that, which is why I wanted to tell you from my soul that uh, I find you amazingly beautiful and smart and uh, unique. And uh, I just want to get to know you better. <sighs> You're really sweet. Uh, I'm a sweet guy. But uh, I can't go out with you. Why not? Dion. She's killing me. You usually have none. It's the cosmic flow of the universe, Sahib. With you and the mother of all ruts, the babes have flocked from you right on to me. Well, cease the migration, my brother, because I've had a rut revelation. Dion! Every girl in this school is scared spitless of her. Huh, and rightly so. But how's that rut relevant? You two are over like Canada's over Minnesota. I, I know. But has she dated anyone since me? No. Why? Because she still holds a torch for the big murder. That's why. And until you find a way to extinguish that flame... Well, then I'm getting less action than a Linda Tripp kissing booth. That's just nasty. Well, the solution is simple. Tell Dion you two are done dealio, and she's got to get on with her life. Tell her publicly and tell her soon before you're taking your cousin to the prom. Although Ralph is a delightful dancer, I'm with you 110. I dropped the bomb on Dion in T-minus now. <laughs> Handle your business. See the lovely Amber draped in an elegant Pashmina sweater. This chic secret makes cashmere feel like burlap. Pashmina. The finest wool in the world. Incredibly soft, incredibly expensive, and most importantly, incredibly, incredibly rare. <laughs> Curse 
you trendy clones. A pox on your house of style. <laughs> Nice motor skills, Poindexter. You'll be hearing from my dry cleaner. Ah, Pashmina. The second rarest wool in the world. Second? What's the first? Well, uh, according to the article in Newsweek, Chatouche. It's called from the belly of the endangered Tibetan antelope, the Chiro. Oh, I like the sound of this. Ultra pricey and chic. I want some. Uh-uh. Dear naive Amber, Chatouche is not for sale. It's illegal. Dear naive Marshall, everything is for sale. How do I get my hands on some of this stuff? Well, you could break into the Beverly Hills Zoo and shave one. Done. Let's do it. Au contraire, mademoiselle. As Eagle Scout Emeritus, I'm sworn to adhere by the law. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's just no way to change my... Oh. Hi, Cher. Your, your cuticles look lovely today. Hi, Cher. Tell you what. You help me shave the Chiru, and I'll help you date the Cher. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and mold spores are going to become milk-giving mammals. Look, Brainiac, here's a little ladies' room tip -a Nice, Cher, digs naughty boys. Why must they always fall for the bad seeds? Mm, once Cher sees how you just tossed aside your protractor and shaved some wild beastie, She'll let you fill all her synaptic gaps. Oh. So what do you say, Marshmallow? You in? I'll take this drool as a yes. <laughs> Dion, we need to speak. Oh, I sense seriosity. Oh, no, no, Cher, stay. I'd like you to hear this. In fact, look, I want all of you to hear this. Dion, I want you to know that there's a part of me that will always want you. But what we had is gone, okay? You need to move on, get on with your life. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's hard. You haven't grieved properly. Just let it go. You know, let, let, let it out, girl. <laughs> You sad, delusional buffoon. You think I'm still hung up on you? Murray, does this have anything to do with your recent romantic rebuff? Only everything. Nobody's gonna date me until Dee's moved on. <laughs> Why? It's the same reason nobody dates an assassin's ex-girl. They don't want to get whacked. You're comparing me to an assassin? That'd be unfair to assassins. <laughs> like, I'd care if anyone dated you, Murray. The only emotion I would feel for that person is sheer and utter sympathy. So then why haven't you dated anyone since we broke up? Because I haven't met anyone date-worthy. You haven't found anyone that'll put up with your crap. I'll have you know, there is not a Y chromosome walking on this campus that would not sell his soul for the chance to date me. Really? Well, prove it, baby. No problem, baby. How about him? Without breaking a sweat. <laughs> Observe. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> he was late for calculus. Oh, so well, what about those two right there? Track practice. Mm. Face it, Dion. For two years, every guy on this campus has watched you berate and belittle me. Wrong, moronic <laughs> oaf. For two years, what people have seen is me putting up with a witless, cockeyed imbecile. See, D? It's that right there. That right. Listen, if you don't lighten up, you're never gonna get a date. And neither will I. 
I mean, I can see it now. Us, many years from now. So old, so alone. Lousy replicants, play ball on your own sector or I'll call a Blade Runner. You mean you still haven't found a boyfriend yet? That means another millennium of celibacy for me. You still think about S-E-X at your age? Ew. Thanks to you, I'm the world's oldest virgin. Even Urkel lost his back in 2048. Come on, D. It's not too late. Please, just start being nice to people so we can end this vicious cycle. Oh, I can be nice. Just not to you. No! Oh! Here comes the milkman droid. I'll show him how nice D can be. Hello, milkman droid. Afternoon, Miss Davenport. Beautiful day, no? Oh, God, you're a bore. 60 years, and every time you open those thin lips of yours, it's to babble about the weather. Newsflash! There is no weather. We live inside a dome, you chips for brains. Oh, wait. I didn't mean... I didn't mean... Come back. I'm so tired of being alone. Scary, huh? As if I'd ever date a milkman. You know, Mari, as usual, your fantasies are either perverted or deranged. I am perfectly capable of dating anyone I want. Hi. Ah! Help me. Despite her cry for help, Dee's having trouble with the concept of change. And who can blame her? She's the kindest, warmest soul on this planet. What? She is. She just hides that part of her under a thorny protective shell. And are we right to try and pry it off? I mean, have you ever seen a snail without its shell? It's just a slug. Eskar gross. Anyway, this is truly a dilemma. Listen, D, I'm begging you, okay? You gotta start being nice. What? Just because I'm strong-willed, that makes me a monster? No, because you're mean and scary. That's what makes you a monster. Cher, is that true? Well, D, you do have a tendency to be a little rough on guys. Okay, so I'm just supposed to fake it every time they do something idiotic. No, just learn to pick your battles. In fact, sometimes when they're being particularly pitiful, it's kind of cute. Cute? Oh. I can't believe we're doing this. Breaking into a zoo to steal an animal's wool. Cher, you're doing it for Cher, bad boy. That's yes, what happens if we get caught. Now towel off, Nancy boy. Oh. If we get caught, I will just drop the name Daddy. He's one of this turd farm's biggest benefactors. They even named an animal after me, like a gazelle or a swan or something. Come on. <laughs> Okay, you're on a date, he's driving. After a while, you realize he's lost. What do you do? <laughs> Tell the pinhead to pull over and get directions. No! no! What? Why don't you just neuter the poor sap? Look, all psychology books agree, guys hate unsolicited advice. Yeah, it says to us, you're incompetent. You are. You're lost. CD, it's that right there. That right there. So what am I supposed to do, just sit there and smile like a lobotomized Barbie? That would be the greatest gift of all. Oh! Did you know that Chiru was so mean that even animal rights people wish it was extinct? Did you know that if we connected all your zits, they'd spell the word dork? Actually, they'd spell Rittijin, which isn't a word. Yet. I'm sorry, are the geek and the goddess having a moment? No, we are here for the hair. Now just do your Chiru call or something. Yeah, wild animal. Nice, wild animal. Lamentably, I am unable to make contact. 
Unfortunately, I have a lovely Dacron polyester pullover that should strike your fancy. Shall we go? Accept hand-me-downs from an argyled gargoyle like you? No, I've got a better idea. Oopsie. Okay, you really like this guy, but he has this horrible shirt that he wears all the time. What do you do? Nothing. Never try to change or improve a man. Trust that he will grow on his own. By Jove, I think she's got it. If I would have known she could be this evolved, I would have never given her the boot in the first place. <sighs> Breathe deeply, don't say anything. And if that doesn't work, snap this rubber band. The brief flash of pain will prevent you from ever jumping down anyone's throat. Hey, where was that when we were dating? She jumped down my throat so many times I got skid marks on my esophagus. Relax, surrender. Who pray tell is that with Derek? Oh, that's Tyler, his friend from La Jolla. Wait, this is so perfect. Tyler is totally oblivious to your old rep. You can meet him with a clean slate. Interested? Interested? Is Marv Albert interested in fishnets and pumps? Of course she is! Thank you, Murray. I'm sure you thought that by answering for me, you were somehow being helpful. But please note, it makes me feel buried and unheard. I love it. Now you keep up that psycho babble and I'll be back with the babes in no time. Now D, remember, you want to date, not emasculate. Let's go, let's go. Oh, the Chiro now sits directly on top of my chest. His hot breath is no picnic. Save the details. I'm gonna throw down the shears. Catch! I saved the Chiro! see this working out what you're very nice but you're really not my type oh and how's that i don't know it's weird but maybe you're too nice i need someone with an edge an opinion someone that challenges me i think with you i'd get bored i see i appreciate your honesty tyler i really do and may i be honest with you too absolutely I find it amusing that a man of your obviously limited intelligence, wit, and class would have the audacity to think, even for a second, that he'd be bored with me. You should be licking my boots, you moronic condescending snob. You're nothing more than a dim-witted cretin, and I rue the day I met you. See, now that, like, totally turns me on. Mm -hmm. We started making out like Antonio and Melanie reunited after separate movies. Oh, go figure. Mm. Okay, that does it. I am officially ruling out psychology as a major. Not so fast. You helped. In fact, I can see the book, Men Are Mindless, Deal With It, by Dr. Cher Horowitz. And I'll dedicate it to you. So, um, is Tyler a keeper? Nah, eventually I'll throw him back. I just heard the good word. Dion's dating. Well, congratulations, Dion, to you and me, because I'm free at last! Free at last! Good God, 
in this moment. I'm free at last. <laughs> Chapter one, learning to accept his imperfections. Murray is one giant imperfection.